Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today, as you can see, I am at the happiest place on Earth. I'm at Disneyland for another fun-filled day. We're going to see what's new in the park this week and give you some updates on what's going on here. And of course, just enjoy this beautiful Southern California day at the happiest place on Earth. So how about you and I? Let's dive right in. I finally made it through security. That was a few minutes. It's definitely busier than last time I was here for sure. Yeah, busier to the point where I didn't even park in Mickey and Friends. I actually parked in Pixar Pals parking structure. So they've been filling up quite a few more spaces than when the park first opened on April 30th. Oh yeah, there are, there are quite a few more folks here at the Disneyland Resort for sure. This is, uh, this is a lot busier than last time I was here. That's because they've upped the capacity because Orange County is now in the yellow tier. So Disneyland could uh, bring in some more people. And just to give you an idea of time, it is around 1030. So an hour and a half after park opening. And this gives you an idea of how crowded it still is. People coming into the park. So remember, r arrive early as early as possible. So like if you want to be the first car in line at the parking structure, do that because then that way it'll save you some time getting into either order of the parks. I mean, and on the side note, this crowd is split between both parks, Disneyland and California Adventure. So I think later on in the afternoon, once it spreads out, it might be a little easier. But like I said earlier, it is noticeably busier than before. So remember, just arrive early. You know, on the flip side though, this is actually really nice to see. I'm glad that people are back in the parks, enjoying their time, having fun again. The parks are healthy. They're making money. Everything's back open. I love it. Yeah, I mean, the crowds don't necessarily bother me all that much. I mean, I've waited three and a half hours for Splash Mountain. This is not my first rodeo. Yes, I've officially made it in Disneyland. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. Crowds aside, we're still gonna have a great time and enjoy every single moment. Oh, here comes the train. I think I hear it. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming down the tracks. Oh yes, that iconic bell. Oh, I live for that sound. You know, now that I've finally made it inside the park, we have to do our first attraction, the most intense ride here, and that is the restroom. Oh, I just love walking right down the middle of Main Street. I just love tripping myself in the tracks here. Yeah, you want to know who's always late for the party? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, there's definitely a line for Snow White, but there's no line for the churros. What alternate universe am I in? What the heck? Yeah, I know, Mr. Horse. It, it boggles my mind, too. I was expecting a very long line for, uh, yes, I know, a very long line for the churros. And speaking of tasty treats, the Tropical Hideaway has brought back some tasty treats, so let's give those a try. Oh, watch out, there's sporks ahead. And here at the Tropical Hideaway, they have the bows back. They have the chicken bow and the vegetable bow. They also have sweet lumpia back and pork lumpia. I opt for well that glare i opted for the uh, pork lumpia so that's really good super excited about that oh hey carter hey, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i got the uh, mango chamoy dole whip Ooh, here it comes o m g look at that okay here we go i haven't had this in a very long i think i've had this before and if i recall this was very scrum diddly umptious it's mango dole whip pineapple dole whip chamoy, tahine, cucumbers, pineapple, and there's another like fruit in here. And it just, it smells delicious. It looks delicious. It looks kind of like a mess too, but it's okay. We like making messes. Oh man. Oh dude. Oh yeah. This is so good. So this is so refreshing on a hot summer day. Well, this is late spring, to be specific, but this is perfect on a day like today because it, it's just, it's cooling, you know? It goes through your body. Oh, yeah. And then the, the tahini on there gives it a nice little spicy kick. Not too bad, though. And the chamoy is nice and sweet. That's also got a little bit of a kick to it. Got some lime on there and the crunch of the cucumbers and the other fruits. Oh, so yummy. Mmm. Love that. Like cucumber? Yeah, there's like cucumber, some other fruit. It's really good. It's okay, really, let's, really let's good. give it a try. 
Oh yeah, it punches you in the face with flavor. It slaps you with like, he was a cucumber, he was a melon, he was tahine, he was delicious. Everything. Everything. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's really it's really nice. I love it. It's I think it's like seven ninety nine. Not too shabby. You do get an annual pass holder discount on some of the items. Oh yeah, it is yummy. Oh yeah, look at that. Demolished, nearly demolished. And some people are probably thinking, Dylan, it's like eleven o'clock in the morning, and you're eating ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there's no such thing as like you have to eat ice cream or sweets or candy at a certain time of day at Disneyland. You can eat whatever you want at Disneyland at any given time of day. It, rules are up to you. Rules are up to you. Kids, if you're watching, eat cotton candy in the morning if you want. Eat cotton candy in the morning uh, for lunch and for dinner. But maybe maybe put in some vegetables or something in there because you might get a headache or something. You want to chew at 9 a.m.? Do it. Do it. You're at Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. It's so happy. And our next tasty treat is a pork lumpia with that dipping sauce. Looks like a sweet and sour sauce. It looks so yummy. Let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. The pork lumpia, I'm dipping it in the sweet and sour sauce. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is so good. It's crunchy on the outside. On the inside, it's nice and soft, and the vegetables in there are really nice, and the pork is cooked really nice. Everything is just steamed and cooked to perfection. Oh, so yummy. I would definitely get more of these. I would probably eat like eight of these. It would definitely uh, hurt my wallet, but <laughs> I think it's worth it, maybe, you know? And the sauce, the dipping sauce. Oh. It complements this lumpia so well. It's almost like a spring roll. That's what I would consider it. Just that's that's what it really tastes like. Just a regular spring roll. But oh man, they're so good. The other bit of news here in Adventureland, though, is that Jungle Cruise will be opening up July 16th with its new enhancements. I'm super excited to check this out when it does open. Can't wait. And while we're in Adventureland, I just wanted to point out that Indiana Jones is doing a virtual queue. So remember to scan that QR code when you enter enter Adventureland. And I'm sure there's another one at the attraction's entrance, so you can join the virtual queue. They're doing this just because it is getting a little bit more busy in the parks, and of course they need to socially distance in the queue space, so they're just letting you do it virtually, and then they'll call you back in just a little bit. Oh wow, look at over here in New Orleans Square, the line for Pirates of the Caribbean starts right over there and wraps all the way up towards Haunted Mansion, and then back down to the front over here. I mean, it's still probably only a 35 minute wait or so because Pirates of the Caribbean does have a very high capacity. But still though, yeah, again, there's a lot more people here than before. Uh, looking down the rivers of America, here comes the fabulous Mark Twain riverboat. Isn't this just such a beautiful view? I love this. Yeah, that view never gets old. As we're cruising our way through the park, I just wanted to mention that the park hours have changed from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and they're going to be changing again to 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So keep an eye on those park hours. We're getting some extra hours of magic. All right, continuing on our tasty treat adventure. Bengal Barbecue has the asparagus with the bacon wrap around it. It's back with the lemon slice. Ooh, it looks so good. Let's dive into this. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. The asparagus with the bacon. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I mean, Bang Bengal barbecue always has good food. I've never really had bad food at Bengal barbecue. The asparagus is nice and crunchy and the bacon's cooked nicely. It's got like little crispy edges to it. Oh yeah, that's yummy. You know, what's deadly about Bengal barbecue is it's addicting. Like, Bengal barbecue has so many good things that, you know, you could drop some coin at Bengal barbecue. I mean, it's, you do get an annual pass holder discount though, so keep that in mind. But yeah, the food is very good. Oh, hi Minnie. Oh, you look great. You look, it, it's a beautiful day, but it's just, it's even more beautiful because you're here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, forget them. It's all about you. Yep. You know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> now Mickey's over there, but we don't want to talk about Mickey right now. No, we don't want to talk about Mickey. It's about Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Disney duck. Uh, no, it's okay, then that's okay. I just wanted to let you know that we're gonna go on Space Mountain next, okay? Yeah, just, just to make sure. Did you wanna go? Because if you want to, I, you can join us. But yeah, I just wanna let you know that we're gonna go on Space Mountain. Okay. so many 
many galactic right turns. So much fun on Space Mountain. One of my favorites here at Disneyland. I love it. And we sat in the front row that time. So we were just going light speed through space. That was so fast. So much fun. Space Mountain is exhilarating. You know, a Disneyland day would not be complete without a classic Disneyland churro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, the churro is even better when you get it right by Sleeping Beauty's Castle and the air conditioner inside the bushes. <laughs> That's when you know you're in the right spot for the churro. I just noticed it. I don't know. <laughs> There's a straight up air conditioner unit inside the bushes. Don't pay attention to the AC unit in the bushes, it's everyone. It's really hot in here. Turn on the outside air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> don't pay attention. It's Disney magic. Don't you know the flowers need some coolness? That's because right. Because this place is so smoking. All right, let's work our way into Mickey's Toontown. Let's check up on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. All right, right as we walk in, it looks like they've added some artwork to the construction fence here. Look at this. This is the concept art for the entrance of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I am so excited for this to be coming to Disneyland. I am stoked. And so are these people right here on the car. They're, look, they're, they're, they're like excited on the concept art. And then Mickey and Minnie down here in the front. Oh yeah, this ride's gonna be such a fantastic addition to Toontown. I'm so happy to see this coming. And it's gonna be done, I think, 2023. Yeah, I just can't get over how massive the show building is for the attraction. It's definitely gonna be multi-purpose though. I don't think this building is only housing the attraction. I believe it's also housing a bunch of other infrastructure backstage. But nonetheless, it is a gargantuan piece of concrete and steel. Oh, look, there's more baby geese. Look at that. You guys wanna go on Pirates of the Caribbean too? Or are you just heading that way? All right, we had a ton of fun on Pirates of the Caribbean. So much fun. The other friends are laughing at me in the distance here because <laughs> little, little do, do you guys know that this particular take right here has, has taken me about three or four times to explain what I'm about to explain. And I'm still like struggling because sometimes it gets, it's a little BTS behind the scenes and there's a lot happening in front of me. So I'm always like, so that's why sometimes I have to do a couple takes. But we've made it to Galaxy's Edge. Pirates of the Caribbean was a lot of fun. Be careful that drop though. Hang on as tight as you can. That last drop is intense. We might do a smuggler's run over here. And then eventually down the road after this video comes out, I'm gonna have a Galaxy's Edge shopping video. So I'll leave that link down below in the description once it becomes available. Be sure to check that out because I cover all the new merch that's available here on Batu. Yeah, isn't the lighting design on this just marvelous? I love that blue. That green, the greenish tints in the far distance. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, and I think our Disneyland day is coming to a close. And uh, as you can see right in front of us, that's my ride home. Uh, the door's open, they're just waiting for me to board. But I figured I'd just kind of enjoy, enjoy the look of it, you know? It's a pretty nice ride and it's really fast. I don't know how much horsepower, but it's pretty quick. But that was a fun day at Disneyland. It's always a great day at Disneyland, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, especially from the Disneyland Resort, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description, as well as a huge shout out and a thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely, oh, there it goes. Oh, we missed another one. Huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing and you help out the channel so much. But yeah, like I said, it's a great day at Disneyland. I can't wait to come back. And we'll be at Avengers Campus soon at the grand opening of that. So I'm really stoked. Can't wait. Other than that though, hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.